we again are on the S1000R premium package 2017 BMW. Just incredible bike. Uh, can't say enough about it. So why don't we just hop on it. There's the Akrapovich pipe. Uh, HP. HP forged wheels. Brembo brakes. Uh, Oelene suspension. DDC. Which is dynamic dampening control. Four different modes. Heated grips. Uh, ABS uh, brakes, shift assist pro, which means it's up and down, uh, and shift assist, so you have auto blipper on there. Um, just so much, so many goodies with this bike. Uh, I just ordered some stator covers and a clutch cover for here. You got the stator cover that goes on the bottom for the engine. Uh, and then a cover for here to protect that. Um, I do have a reservoir on hold. I'm just waiting for my finances to catch up with my with my uh, bike situation. I do have also some things um, that I want to put on. I have uh, what are they called? They're like vinyl sticky things for the t for the wheels. Because these wheels are bl are black, and they're not real. I mean, they're HP4, so they're really, really incredible wheels. Uh, however, I'm in dynamic mode, by the way. I seem to be sticking in that mode, unless, of course, it rains. I am also wearing my Alpine Star boots, my Alpine Stars GPS Plus track gauntlet-style gloves for protection. Um... It is hot. It's probably close to 90 degrees out here. And uh, we're just gonna get going. We're heading over to Best Buy to meet my husband. But in the meantime, and in between time, this guy was on my side of the road. I figured I could do a quick, uh, you know, ride and review and talk about gear and talk about the bike and riding and how much fun it is and uh, how you still have to be cautious in spite of it being fun. When you're on a bike of this caliber, which is like the, one of the most sought after bikes right now, um, it was between this and an Aprilia tu Tuono, which was a factory R, I think it was an RFLE. So it was a limited edition. That's what the LE stood for. And it was number, I wanna say it was number 32 of a thousand or something like that. Um, and, believe it or not, it was the same price. Uh, and this difference is, this is brand new, um, with only seven, six or 700 miles on it, 2017, that I, brought, I bought this year. Um, it wasn't a leftover, but it was from a guy who bought it and ordered the premium package, and then uh, his wife had a baby, and they said no more riding, so... Uh, yeah, so I got it for a used price, which is just amazing because this bike brand new premium package out the door is going to be about seventeen eighteen thousand um, dollars be Because of all the things I just mentioned it has and more um, You have Dynamic dampening control so you basically have adjusting the suspension on the fly It changes it about a hundred times a minute to adjust to your road conditions so this is going to be one of the smoothest rides you will ever have it, it's that simple uh sax is also good but this is this is Olean suspension which is just the best brembo brakes also the best the only thing that's not the best on this as i mentioned earlier today this morning um in my opinion my personal opinion they they put bridgestone tires on here and i do not like them uh, they slip a little bit, whereas my Buell that I currently own and my Ducati that I sold for this bike, uh, they both had the Pirelli uh, Diablo Rosso Corso two tires on them, and they're they're just they're, they're sticky. They stick like glue, baby. And I like that because there's a lot of gravel around here. There's been a lot of storms, a lot of rain. Uh, you know, you might have to stop suddenly due to deer. Hold on here, I'm leaning pretty far. Woo! All right. I 
think I'm going to get all the way over. Okay, so in dynamic mode, this bike is dangerous. It is dangerous, folks. It takes off a lot of what holds you back in the road mode so that, you know, you really have to get like a quarter throttle to really get a pull on it to, to get to that low end torque. In the dynamic mode, it's got more of a high end torque, you could say, and it just right off the bat, right off the track line, it just goes. Um, 165 horsepower and 84 foot pounds of torque. It's incredible. It's just freaking incredible. Uh, it feels like it's light as a feather. It's over 400 pounds. It's between 4 and 500 pounds, but uh, you know, it, that's just the dynamics. The ergonomics of the bike are amazing. They, they set it up perfectly. And uh, yeah, so hold on a second here. I am doing counterweight with my body, so I'm a little bit off the bike here. All right, so. Still have my still have my rev limiter on. Um, I'll probably get that taken off because I'm almost at a thousand miles now. Usually between six and eight hundred miles, they take that rev limiter off. Um, so what I was trying to tell you is I have like decals kind of that will go around the rims of the bike that are red and black and white. Oh, is that a car? Or is that a yeah? That's a car. That's the same car that was there yesterday. Uh, I could put this on cruise control and see how it does, but uh, I'm just having entirely too much fun with this throttle. The cruise control, everybody loves it. Once they get it, they don't want to not have it. <laughs> um, my other bike does not have it, but. My other bike is not meant for that. Uh, it is an EVR Lightning. Eric, I should say, it's a Buell Lightning XB1203cc engine. It is incredible. Monsters pipe on it. Pipes, plural, I should say. I got D&D pipes put on there. They're better than Vance and Hines. Uh, yeah, so you might be hearing a lot of wind. I, I have a Sedici helmet on, and I do have, because it's... Uh, really freaking hot out um, <laughs> I do have all of the uh, all of the airflow coming through what is this dude doing see can't really trust somebody like that that's leaning over in your lane you just want to get away from them um, but anyway uh, I hope you guys are having a really good Friday. I hope you're somewhere where you can ride and be on two wheels and do that on a two-wheeled vehicle and not a four-wheeled vehicle because that would be awful. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to try this. All right, we're going to try. Should we try the cruise control? Let's see if I know how to do this. Okay, so I have it on. It's weird because it's not showing it as being on, but... There we go, it's set. Holy shit! Look at that! Wow! A lot of people do it without without hands, but I, I, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. All right. So now we're going to turn it off. Woo! There you go. There's cruise control for you. Um, I'm getting a lot of wind because I'm not tucking down like this, which is what I should be doing. Uh, there we go. I just love this bike, man. 
you don't realize how fast you're going so I do have to slow my roll a little bit <laughs> but uh yeah so what else can I say there's a lot of traffic going the other way boo I am continuing to eat this microphone to you for you I should say um, yeah so this is my BMW if you have any questions about it you know is it for a beginner rider as I said a hundred times probably not no uh, doesn't mean it couldn't be maybe a year into riding like switch up you really have to get a bike that yes this inspires confidence so that's a good thing okay that's a that's a huge plus however you also want to get a bike that you couldn't immediately kill yourself on because you have no idea how fast you're going and you know th this thing likes to lean uh, so you really need to know counter steering counterbalancing with your weight which honestly you should know that anyway but I didn't I didn't I couldn't do it right away um, you know I got a I got a super bike right off the 250 that I was learning off of in the 350 you know I got my license and then I went on the road and I'm like holy crap you know this had uh, clip balls on it and it was really it was a Yamaha and uh, and it was just really impossible um, really it was so top heavy and so heavy in general it weighed over 600 pounds now you compare that to this which is like 470 something I think yeah I knew this traffic was gonna be ugly don't know why I went this way it's always this ugly it's always ugly this time of day let me tell you um, but uh, yeah so that bike I, I hated it I didn't want to ride it I was like what am I doing with my life you know why did I decide to ride a motorcycle you know and then I got smart traded it in for a Buell Blast and oh my goodness that bike was perfect for me I mean it was great it's a 500 cc basically um, it was a combination of Eric Buell and Harley Davidson they took an 883 engine and cut it down uh, I guess just about in half basically and then they they made a little a little sporty bike out of it but it was still an upright bike this is not I wouldn't consider this an upright bike for an S1000R although they will tell you the nakeds are typically more upright than the double R's and the super bikes that are their big brother big sister however I am leaning over I can tell you that right now um, mild to moderate pressure on your wrists uh, and it's hot as a bug out here man Woo! we all got to do something good because the heat is set to hell folks actually it could be a lot worse um, yeah this is why I got these shorty levers for times like this because the because the other levers that came with it first of all these are red so they match this is really cool I had originally wanted the racing scheme the white with the blue and red and when I saw this bike I'm like you know what I don't want another white bike because I just had a white bike so this is red and black you know um, trying to think if it has any white on it other than this speedometer not other than the uh, uh, oh my gosh tachometer I can't even speak anyway we're sitting in traffic it looks it was supposed to rain today so I'm really thankful I got to ride a second day and I thank God for keeping me safe and helping me to make smart decisions please make smart decisions on your drive um, don't be wearing t-shirts and shorts and sneakers or flip-flops or anything like that um, you know even if you're wearing a helmet I see people doing that flip-flops t-shirt with their back their back out and their they're flying down the road their t-shirts coming up but they have a helmet on so they're they're good you know it's like no as it is I'm wearing jeans and I, now I have my Alpine Stars um, race boots on so they cover most of my shins obviously but you know if I were to crash I'm gonna get road rash and probably broken bones you know on my legs because they're not covered they're not protected now I do have a Kevlar jacket for the summer 
um, from Joe Rocket, which I like very much. I should be wearing all leathers, um, but you know that old saying, oh, my drives, I'm not going to be driving around that much. Well, you know what? Most accidents occur within a couple miles of your house. So when I was little, when I was 13, my sister was driving, my one sister was driving, and uh, thankfully we were in a Volvo. And the accident that we got in, we rolled down an embankment like five times. And uh, it traumatized me for life, I will tell you that. I don't like other people driving me anywhere. Uh, not to say that I'm the best driver in the world, it's just that, you know, it's that control issue. I ended up really having a control issue. Um, for that and you know other stuff but uh you know you just you just you just never know so you want to be safe um whew, i'm gonna lift my helmet up here a little bit so we are going to best buy to see if my husband who ran over his phone with the tractor and it spit it out for him quite nicely and it's still been working but it honestly it's been a piece of crap it doesn't keep a charge um, it hardly has any gigabytes to it, um, you know, and it's, it's still a 6, it's, it's not even a 6 plus or anything like that, or a 7. I have a 7 plus that I absolutely am in love with, and I have no intentions of getting rid of it, uh, anytime soon, you know, so I just have to hope that I don't, uh, run over it with the tractor or something stupid like that. Um, anyhow... What else can I say? I want to do some test rides. Um, it's hard because I work during the week and a lot of these places close early. What the freak is up with that? In the summertime? Like, really, folks? That's when you're going to be selling your biggity biggity bikes. Why would you close early? I don't understand. Like, I mean, close before dark, I guess, but you know. Even even if you close at 9, like, the one thing I can say about our classic Harley dealership is that they have some pretty decent hours, but some of these other places, like Saturdays, everybody should be open till 9. I'm sorry. You, you can't sell bikes on a Sunday, so I'd rather have you open till 9 on a Saturday, you know what I'm saying, and then just off on a Sunday, because they're all, they're all off Sunday and Monday usually, except for classic Harley. Um... But uh, I, I really don't understand that. You'd think they'd be wanting to be open as much as possible because in the winter time here, they're not going to be selling that many bikes. Um, on that note, I am to my destination and I see my husband's Jeep. I forced him to get new tires. Now I'm forcing him to get a phone. Well, I can't really force him. It's up to him, but... Uh, you know, he doesn't realize how much of a pain in the butt it is for people who are, you know, trying to hear him and understand and, and all that stuff. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. I hope you had a good view and some good sounds with this Akrapovich pipe that came with the bike. Uh, it is incredible. I will tell you that. It is absolutely incredible. Um, people are trying to kill me here. Let's see, where am I going? Uh, I can go right here. Alright, we will park right here. Alright guys, it as usual, ugh, as usual has been a pleasure riding with you. Please ride safely, please make sure you wear your gear. Please check out people like Moto Jitsu. Uh, he is phenomenal. If you are in the Ohio area, check out 650 Eve's channel. Check out uh, who else? Filthy Streets of Cleveland. We have uh, Cycle Cruiser. He's pretty good, man. He's like straight up. He's he knows his stuff. And um, if you're in the Baltimore area, Duke of DC. He got me over to LA Moto. He doesn't even really know it. Well, I told him. Uh, sometime I'd like to ride with him and maybe 650 of course everybody wants to ride with 650 but I think I can keep up now brother I think I can keep up anyway please be safe God bless you all have a great weekend peace out this is laser focused peace
Maisie on the beat.